Hey everybody, I'm Dre Nichols Everett, National Fitness Spokesperson for the American Heart Association. And I'm Bernie Salazar. I was the at-home winner of Season 5 on The Biggest Loser. And we're here today, today to help you get started in your workout plan at PowerToInStroke.org. Now guys, first and foremost, when you start an exercise plan, you have to believe in yourself. When you start anything new, you have to have the confidence to know that you can do this. You can make it a habit and you can make it long term. You have to truly be an advocate for yourself. And a lot of times that's the hardest part. We literally get weighed down by the inactivity, by the weight that we see in front of us or when we look in a mirror. You gotta believe that you can overcome that. How do you do that? You surround yourself with positive people. People in your life do influence how you, how you feel. So if you're looking in the mirror, you're not liking what you're seeing, and you're going to do something about it, you got to surround yourself with people who believe in you as well and are going to support you through your journey. Exactly. I mean, that's one of the most important things. And it's one of the things that I had to learn, and that's why I think it's so important to share, is that you have to really communicate with your loved ones that you need them to now be that positive force for you. Absolutely. You know, and a lot of times you have to go and seek out friends that you know are also going to just be into what it is that you're into now because you're now a new person. So definitely surround yourself with positive people and positive things. Exactly. And something that you need to know is your triggers. What is it that makes you overeat or makes you eat the wrong foods? So Bernie, you've lost a lot of weight from The Biggest Loser. Can you share with us a little bit about some of your triggers and how you um, prevent yourself from eating those foods or doing things that you shouldn't do? Well, I mean, self-discovery is huge when it comes to changing your life. Mm -hmm. So what I realized was I ate when I was bored. I ate when I was happy. I ate when I was sad. I ate when I was sleeping. He was an eater. I was an <laughs> eater. I was an overeater. Right. You know, and what I had to do was really kind of just pull in the reins and say, you know what, why are you going towards food? Are you truly hungry? Right. Or are you just doing this because you are bored? Right. Because you're sad. So now understanding those triggers, I'm able to replace them with positive behaviors mm -hmm. and positive snacks. It's okay to eat. You can't be made to feel guilty about eating. That is not what we're talking about, but you have to understand those triggers. And eating and overeating are two different things, right? Yes, and undereating. And as well, mm -hmm. absolutely. So as you start your journey, we want you to believe in yourself. You can do this. Have the confidence. Look at yourself in the mirror and say that I can do this every morning when you wake up and continue on your journey to good health.